Welcome back. Fresh off last week's 77 to 7 thumping of Drake. It's on to Ohio for South Dakota. Bob Nielsen and the Coyotes will wrap up their season opening two game road trip Saturday against Bowling Green. Midco SN's Jay Elson has a preview of the matchup with the Falcons. To an outsider, it's tough to imagine things going a whole lot better for USD than they did in Des Moines. But the coaches aren't outsiders. They found plenty of room for growth. As we look at this week, it's got to be a week where we make a quantum leap of improvement, where we've got to be a, a much better football team than we were Saturday. And, and we can use the Drake performance as something to build on. Uh, but to have a team, the quality of Bowling Green is really going to challenge our reach. And that's exactly what we need right now as a team. The differences between a non-scholarship FCS program and a school from the MAC hardly need to be stated. However, Nielsen still believes that Drake game gives his team a bit of a head start heading into their matchup with the Falcons. Particularly with our team this year, uh, having a, a game where we had the opportunity to play a lot of people and, and get a lot of our younger guys' repetitions, I think was really valuable. Um, Bowling Green's an outstanding opponent. Um, with, uh, with our younger guys having gone in, if they would have had to have gone in there opening week, uh, I think it would have been a little bit more difficult to know what to expect. Bowling Green, like South Dakota, features a second-year head coach. The Falcons won just one of their first eight games under Mike Jinks in 2016 before rallying for three straight victories to close the season. They opened this year with a 25-point loss at Michigan State a game they trailed just 14-3 to at halftime. They're a very good football team, uh, a team that uh, played really well at the end of the year last year, and I think they've carried that through. Um, so certainly the second year, they, they've had a chance to ingrain their systems, both offensively and defensively. Uh, and you can see that uh, just in watching them against Michigan State. They're a balanced offensive team. They've got uh, some outstanding perimeter people, uh, which cause you some, some real stress in terms of coverage. Uh, they've got uh, some speed there that uh, if you're going to play one-on-one -on -one coverage, uh, it's gonna, they're going to have the opportunity to make big plays. Uh, but at the same time, they want to run the football. And they've got an experienced offensive line. Uh, so they're a true uh, uh, balanced offensive football team, which uh, will be a, a huge challenge for us. Despite the quality of their opponent, Nielsen says the formula for success remains the same. The Coyotes have to be physical and they have to play clean. Can't turn the ball over. We've got to make some things happen. We're going to have to make some plays at critical times to, to keep the ball away from them and be consistent offensively. Uh, so that uh, they're not on the field a lot with their offense. Reporting for Midco Sports tonight, I'm Jay Elson. Thanks, Jay. The Coyotes will be looking to start a season 2-0 for the first time since 2006 Saturday in their first ever matchup with Bowling Green. Kickoff at Doit L. Perry Stadium is set for 5 p.m. Central Time. Jay is traveling with the team once again, so be sure to follow along on Twitter at Elson Midco SN and MidcoSN.com for updates. Next on Midco Sports tonight, Tom Neiman gives us a breakdown of what we can expect in Bozeman for the Jacks weekend matchup against Montana State. We'll be right back.